feel like this is probably a game that I would just kind of work my way through or playing it by myself. Yeah, just like slowly just work your way through it. I'd get through it. It's a little it's a little more of a slog since we have to define the one. We have to line up our schedules to stream it together. Yeah. How long do you think the do you think Breath of the Wild is in hours? Um, I know you can go to Ganon immediately, but a realistic first playthrough. Probably 15, 20 hours. Probably more than that. That game's open world, and you can you can get lost knowing like I get lost just in open worlds, just chasing like leads and getting distracted. So I I do side stuff, but I would probably limit that on a on a stream. Uh, so last time I think we did the Gerudo dungeon. We did the top dungeon. Yeah, we did. We did Sandland. Top Zelda dungeons with the weird Stal Lord floating skullhead boss. Now we need to get the mirror pieces. Actually, you know what? Talk right. to Midna. What, what does she have to say? Talk to Midna. Oh, right, yeah. Talk to Midna. Deep mountain snows, ancient wood, and somewhere in the sky. So we have our MacGuffins of the game. Yeah. So we need to go... So mountain temple, uh, forest temple, sea temple? I guess we were just... Uh, well, we had previous MacGuffins. We had, like, the three spirits or whatever. Yeah, now we're getting the three mirror shards. So there's just well, not four, one unified set of MacGuffins in this game. There's a few different ones. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's the uh, three... Uh, it's like the three uh, medallions and then the seven crystals from... Uh, uh, Link to the Past. Oh, by the way, um, you could run uh, Ar Archipelago.io and uh, we could do cross game randomizers i can do uh i could do link to the past you could do ocarina of time i look i looked at that and i was debating between for this year's uh ocarina randomizer whether to do whether to try to sort that out and get people for different games or else to do the 60 fps pc port that came out recently Ooh. so i'm between those two and i'm not sure which yet both both sound uh, sound positively interesting. I would, if I if I want to do interaction, I would want to do the uh, me doing Link to the Past, you doing Ocarina of Time, so that way we both win. I think I'd want to do it with more than just the two of us, and it, then it becomes the problem of how many people can we get together for it. Also, and how if one person has to set up. Also, if one person has to drop out, it completely fucks with the other people. That as so well the, is a little bit of an obstacle. Which is why I would just say two, because we did two that one time. For There's a Ocarina. purple thing there. That's probably the entrance to a temple. That's the water temple, isn't it? Did we, didn't we go there? That's Lake Hylia. Maybe. Uh, Hello, Elf King. Transform into a wolf. The mechanic. Night, night link, day link. I brought that up because it, it feels like Zelda games have gotten so long. I, I guess games, that's a good thing. Zelda games are always pretty long. And, it, and long games aren't necessarily a good thing if there's no content between, like, the hours. Depends there's on like how engaging content. they are, for sure. Yeah, like, there are some, like, really good games that are, like, pretty short. JRPGs famously can have an issue with very padded gameplay. Yeah. Okay. What what's the the attraction? This doesn't seem like anything that would be important to us. What? Oh boy, balloons. Why isn't Tingle in this game? That's right. A Americans didn't like him apparently. Yeah, cuz he's you think you think it was homophobia? That's why they didn't like him. Maybe a little bit. Or he, he, just he does play into those stereotypes a little bit. Or maybe it was uh, like uh, like the fact that he was too much resembled Jar Jar Binks, and they're like, "No, we're sorry, but you gotta die." Why am I a dog? Am I? Do I just come out of portals you, that way? Yeah, you you can only be you can only teleport by being a dog. 
Hello, Darian. I have chat up, don't I? Yeah, I do. Um, by the way, uh, uh I, I saw a, uh, Gordon Ramsay on a show recently called Hot Ones. Yeah. And it was them going through, like, progressively spicier wings while the guy was asking him questions. And Gordon Ramsay, he was just, like, swearing up the storms. Oh, fuck! Fuck! Fuck it! These fucking wings! Just, like... Because he he's not really of... the kind of person who's obligated to, like, A, keep a level head, and B, pretend to like food. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't give a fuck about, like, food. He, well, he does give a fuck about food, but he doesn't give a fuck about respecting people's feelings on food. And, uh... Yeah, it was, it was just funny just seeing him in so much, like, pain with the spicy foods. Uh... Yeah, oh, um, there's a, a movie I saw recently, yesterday, in fact, called The Menu. Yeah? I, I liked it. I, I don't want to actually talk about it a whole lot, because I want other people to see it. That's how good it is. That's how high on the movie I am. Oh, oh no, you're drowning. How do I alleviate that? Uh, take off the boots. Well, yeah, but don't I, I have been in the water temple before now. Oh, yeah. Why was I not in the arm Zora armor? Why did I ever take it off? Um, I'm guessing because it looked weird. Are we supposed to be... We were here before, right? We were. I'm just curious there's why there's a thing to... on our map for it. See that purple? I'm guessing it's just entrance to dungeon. Is this... There weren't any others on the map, though. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> talk to Minda again. Where are we going? Maybe it's not in the lake. Maybe we. Maybe I made that up. That is, in fact, the dungeon entrance. Is that purple okay. spot? Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Deep, deep not mountain in the lake. snows. Snows. Ancient wood. Somewhere in the sky. Another We're... wood dungeon. No, it's ancient wood. Okay. Maybe maybe it's, maybe it's clock punk. Go up, Link. Climb. Rise. Maybe it's like all wooden gears and shit. Yeah, but like the yeah. last dungeon we were in. Oh yeah. Damn. Okay. Never mind. Uh, audio level sound okay? Sound okay to me. Uh. Darian and Elf, or whoever whoever is watching. Can I warp from here? No. <laughs> Also, the way the map is divided into, like, chunks is also a little bit weird. Why, why can't I just, like, scroll between them easily? Um, uh, because, I don't know. <laughs> so this is the Farron Woods, and that's the dungeon that we've already been to. Yeah, I'm guessing we don't have to go back to the dungeons we were at. Uh, Death Mountain? That's the yeah, only we, mountain I'm aware of, but... But we that was a dungeon we were at before the steam vents. Were they the steam vents? I don't I don't remember. I don't remember any snow there. So we did seven dungeon we no, we we did four dungeons and we gotta go through four more. Uh, I guess. I don't know. This is the part we might have to look shit up. Okay, yeah, I'm already ahead of you. Let me uh Sora's domain. Twilight Princess, uh, walk through. We're on the three mirror thingies. Yeah, uh, Gerudo Desert was the one we were... I'll just float. Yes, this is our first playthrough, Elf. Both of us are blind to this game. Yep. Do you know what we're supposed to be doing? I mean, logically, I would go to the places that it mentioned, so I guess I should go to the mountain. I can't warp. No, I won't let me warp underwater. Darn and drat. Okay, so our the dungeon we were at was Arbiter's Grounds. Mm -hmm. So now, okay, Snow Peak's our next uh, destination. 
So is that Death Mountain? Um, it would say Death Mountain if we were going to Death Mountain. Well, is there another mountain um, in Hyrule? We're going to a place called Peak Province. Surely there would not be a snowy mountain adjacent to the desert. We gotta... Oh! You're going back to the bar. Okay, sure. Oh, I guess that is kind of our, like, hub. Yeah, they'll, they'll tell you what to do next. I, f I forgot, we made some friends there. One of which was, like, Kuvira, and I don't remember any of the others. Oh, Kuvira. All the, all the guards in Hyrule are weaklings. Oh, you might want to become a, a human before you go back into the bar. No, Wait, I gotta what? get my dog mail first. Makes me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want to wail. I have Apparently a the newest host of the... Like, there's a Blue's Clues reboot. And the, oh, is uh, there? the host is, like, jacked. He was like a former male what? model or something. What? Okay, I gotta see this. Oh, that Blues conveniently Blues. turned me into a human. That's nice. Yeah. It's like, hey, asshole. Why are you wearing fish armor? Jack, do you say? Uh, I'm not on the show wearing the shirt, but there's like footage of him, pictures of him when he was a model. Or something along those lines. Okay. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta know who the... A reboot using CGI animation? That's gonna be shit already. Joshua De La Cruz as Josh. Joshua De La Cruz. Let me see some of his, uh, his sexy... Just look at like he has like a Wikipedia article or something, right? Oh jeez, yeah, found something. No. I, it's just him, like without his shirt, wearing glasses, uh, for GQ.com. God, <laughs> just picturing this guy like a like a host, Josh, being all nice, and then a, a mildly threatening character comes up to him, he just kicks his ass. <laughs> I think I heard even the previous hosts would like get hit on by by moms, because they were the host of Blue's Clues. <laughs> Lonely moms, uh, just... <laughs> that's a that's an occupational hazard they don't tell you about. They rehired the actor for Steve, and he's now a detective in the new reboot. Like a proper detective. <laughs> detective. He, went from, he fr went from solving crimes with Blue the dog to being a police detective. It wasn't even... That's the thing, I, they weren't even... Were they solving crime crimes? They I don't were just think like, they I, were crimes. I lost I lost my item. <laughs> the How the Blues Clues time? murder episode. <laughs> That's the darker dark you know how they do darker and edgier reboots of like uh, old kids' properties. That's, that's what you do with this. It'd be like uh, that uh, cat uh, series of novels, the cat and and the missing whatever. Hey Anvar. Wasn't the Steve was the guy who was in the pirate metal band, wasn't he? Wait, st wait, Steve was an ale- there's a connection between Blue's Clues and Ale Storm? Or like, a, a garage metal, pizza metal, there was some kind of weird offshoot metal band. Pizza me- wait, are you talking about Macaulay Culkin and the Pizza Underground? Okay, that- Coley McCulkin's the pizza metal one. I, the Blue's yeah. Clues guy, I think, was pirate metal, though. L look up Steve from Blue's Clues. Alright, yes, yes, I'm on the page, so. Presented by- was it Steve Burns? Oh, he's the producer. No, he's the original host. Okay. Steve Burns. Uh, yes, also a musician. Is. Okay, yeah. As an American actor, television host, singer, musician, he's best known as the original host of the long running uh, preschool television program Blues Clues from 96 till 2002, which he was nominated for an Emmy. He's also done voiceover work for. Rubber made Gillette Oral B and the voice of the Snickers satisfies. Oh, you're not you when you're hungry? That was him? Okay. 
music and film career. He worked on his material for his first album, Songs for Dust Mites. Uh. Uh. Okay. Deep Sea Recovery efforts. Doesn't say he's with like a, like a uh, actual band. Deep Sea Recovery. Wait, he got, he's with like. Uh, he does the 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 what's the Avatar guy? Uh, D James Cameron? Cameron. He has the same hobby as James Cameron. It doesn't say he's with like an actual band. It just say he produced music. Yeah, he. Uh... Darian <laughs> says he had his own band. Okay, songs for dust mites. Let me. It's just it's just titled as Steve Burns. Maybe it's the uh, second guy. Maybe it's Joe who's in the pirate band. Okay, yeah. Let me let me look that up now. I have no idea where this fucking bar is, by the way. It's there. Chat right? help. No, that was the doctor's office. This is a dead end. This alley. Look it up. Loose clues information. Otherwise, it would help you. Oh well. What are you doing, Mr. Aladdin man? Okay, Joe. I found him. Joe from. It does, he doesn't talk. Uh, it doesn't say he was actually in a in a band. So, what the fuck? Where where does information come from that that the guy was in Blue's Clues? <gasps> oh. Um. Wait. What role was he in in that? Hold on. Okay. So the Blue's Clues, uh, Joe guy, right? Yeah. Um. He's, uh, he also, oh, he isn't anybody specific in, like, any of these. He just does voice acting for, uh, he did voice acting as, as an actor in Grand Theft Auto V. It's just, like, additional voices in Halo 5 and Halo Infinite and God of War. He was, I think, a specific character in Horizon Zero Dawn, but yeah, he's just been Bit Dude ever since then. Wait. Is it? No, yeah, it's the sewer. I think. Go down. He's there. It's there. Yeah, that's that's the bar. Well, wait. To be be like noticeable. You're gonna go out of business down here. Where did you get this information that he was a fucking? I yeah, swear it's something. Storm. I can't look it up right now. Well, I'm doing it. Where's Kuvira? I liked her. You're the dude from Atlantis. You're also alright. Alright, all right, I'll talk to you. Members, Gabriel Bowes, Gareth Murdoch, Peter Alcorn, Elliot Vernon, Matt Bodor, Gavin Harper, Danny Evans, Doug Schwerkscheck, Ian Wilson, Alex Tabiz, and Tim Shaw. The, the, the sages were Zelda's tutors, I guess. Oh, they, oh, she had good as education. Steve Burns. Uh, none of those names are Steve Burns, uh, for Ailstorm. Maybe it's a different pirate metal band. No, I didn't say it was Ailstorm. I never said Ailstorm. Okay, you said it was pirate metal, though. Yeah, it was a pirate-themed band. Okay, I'll, I'll have to listen. Give me a moment. And if, and if it is what, if, if, if it matches, I'm gonna make you play it on stream. Apparently, uh, his last is the latest album. Uh, <laughs> Seed from Blue's Clues finally addresses the rumors of his death ten days ago. <laughs> I didn't even think he lived, let alone died. Alright, Steve Burns music. Uh, I got a lead. Yeah, you and me both. Kuvira is at the northern mountain, and I'm supposed to talk to her. Like this northern, like Zora place, or like I... Death Mountain. This isn't very northern. Deep, deep sea recovery efforts. That's probably the pirate one. Uh... 
Well, she's not appearing on my map like Telma said she would. Not pirate. Uh, very indie. Uh, 11 years ago? Yeah, that sounds like that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to think. Uh, Hello, Cure Ribbon. Were Zelda games always this confusing, or did I just, oh. like, know all of the others? You probably knew all the others. Um... Uh, I think on on no no you wouldn't have been uh, confused by Link to the Past because it actually marked out where you need to go on the maps. Getting there on the other hand, so we know that you have to go. Oh no, you got to catch a fish. I have to catch a fish. What? Were you paying attention to the fucking? What did they tell you to do? Uh, she said that uh, the, the soldier lady, if you need information, is up at the northern mountain of Hyrule. And that okay. I could check my map to find her, but Snow Peak. Oh, the bridge is out. Goron, what are you doing? Just sitting here being sad about it. <laughs> I broke the bridge. Oh no! This is the end. The bridge is broken. We can't carry spring water. It'd be great if he was just like, I broke the bridge, asshole. I wish someone would fix this bridge. You and me both! Hey. Well, guess I'll die. Can I, like... Can I bring a bridge here? Is that a thing I can do again? I've done it once. <laughs> Steve Burns and the Struggle. Oh, is that the name of the, uh... That's on the... That's on the... Album cover. Oh, and the struggles. Yeah, well, that's not, uh... Do I take extra damage wearing the Zora thing? That hurt a lot. I think... What, falling from a high place? We hurt against a lot? fire and ice. Oh! Oh, elemental damage. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, wow, you are almost dead. What the fuck? I took two burnt, two flaming arrows. Which, in real life, I'd be closer to dead than that from two flaming arrows. Okay, so in canon, Josh is Joe and Steve's cousin. There was also a magic school bus reboot that I think the showrunner is now, like, Miss Frizzle's niece or something. That makes no sense considering uh, that's animated. You don't. You did. You need to recast the character. Oh, well, all right then. Wait, what? Yes, oh, I can't go that way. Oh, the castle's out of out of phase with the reality. Is that was that always supposed like that? And people I mean, are could, just like only... okay with it. <laughs> well, I mean, what we, what are we gonna we... do about it? Yeah, it's like. Well, shit, nothing we can do about it. I, I feel like such a situation would merit more of a crisis music or something. It's like... This this castle town seems perfectly normal for their castle to be in another dimension. Well, lovely weather, everyone. Oh, the magic school bus rides again. Stars Kate McKinnon as the as the voice of uh, Miss Frizzle, uh, Miss Fiona Frizzle, Valerie's younger uh, sister, but she's still there. She's now Professor Frizzle. Okay, sure. Oh, <laughs> I think it's the school bus like like fucking space wings and shit, and like spoilers on the end. Well, it needs to be aerodynamic. That's just scientific. In space. It needs to be astrodynamic. There it is. Yep, that's, that's nice the uh, music. That's the how what? Are you, you still have no idea where you're going? Do I you? have no, uh, no. Okay, so made your way back to Talma's bar. Speak with Talma. 
And then if you talk to them and glance at the map, you will find that uh, the character you're looking for has traveled up to Snow Mountain. And wait, did you talk to the right people? I talked to Telma. Do, is there a map on the wall in the bar? Oh. I, are you is. fucking kidding? I have to look at a physical map on the wall and not my map that I own? I mean, what, is your map magic? Presumably. You I can warp using it. You can warp using Minda. The map itself is not like the map in, uh... What's the name of... Uh, of in Wakfu. It's not... Scra it's scribble or something? It's not a, sh it's not a shushu. It, it is a shushu. It's a minor shushu. It's not... No, I'm saying your map is not a shushu. Oh, yeah, you're correct. D damn right. Okay, where's... Where's the, uh... Did Miss Frizzle have a pet originally? I don't remember. What a stupid door. Who did that? What the? <laughs> oh, that's Fucking so... idiot. <laughs> Shit, we put the doors in backwards. Well, we already installed them. Just build the stone around it. <laughs> what about the hinges? We'll have to. We'll make do. I watched a uh, She Says Boundary Break video on the Super Monkey Ball collection recently. Oh, yeah? And they got a texture on a door in the background backwards, so it looked kind of like the door that we just saw there, and they just didn't oh. bother to fix it. That makes sense. What is this? I need better footwear? Put on the metal boots. I can't. It won't let me. Oh. Well, shit. Alright, you need better shoes. You should really check it out. It's an amazing... I can't! The bouncer kicked me out! <laughs> Your shoes are filthy. Maybe you need to be, like, at maximum health. It was an iguana? That sounds familiar. <laughs> Yeah, that, that tracks with the picture I saw of the of the uh, new character, like new girl, high fiving the iguana. The, this. Now here's a question: Is it still going to be the same like kids, or is it going to be different kids? It's got to be new kids, right? Maybe. Uh, also, the gonna... only one that I remember is Arnold. Oh yeah, the the kid who fucking killed himself on the on the on Pluto to prove a point. That's correct. That's the only <laughs> reason I remember him. Also, I think that he's the one that they went inside in the body episode. Yeah, and then there was Carlos who made bad uh, bad jokes. Then everybody would say Carlos. Thelma, tell me about Louise again. All right, we got to meet Ashe on Northern Mountain. Just take a peep, get that map on the table. Yeah. God yeah, you, damn it, you, Thelma. Just, just, Drive off a cliff. Probably on the table in the fucking, like, attack, right, like, check the attack big room. I didn't even know I could look at that. I thought I had to just talk to people. Man, that's really a trigger. Yep. Sorry, you, you <laughs> did do it in the correct order. Well, the, at least the I can flags warp weren't there. Raised. I didn't even know that was a mountain. That's Zora's domain. I did. I also would have had no way to know that I was going to the the bar unless someone had told me. I mean, I guess that's because we haven't played guess, in a while. Yeah, I guess if we were playing const like consistently, you, we would have been able to like say, "Hey, just constantly go to the bar every time you." Uh, Unless you're because well, it's a thing that was just introduced. We haven't gone there, but once a long time ago in this game, and now we've got all these dudes. We're supposed to be like, "Hey, come here for our weekly poker game." Wait a minute, we don't have a weekly poker game. <laughs> Gave you that one. <laughs> yeah, you did. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. That's still one of my favorite gags. Uh. It's a uh, start of Eagle Heart, right? Start of an Eagle Heart episode, yeah. Yeah, these poker games sure are fun. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. We don't have a weekly poker game. Die, pigs! Wait, how... <laughs> where go from here? 
Uh, down? I mean, you're closer than you were. Just, just like keep a level head. You'll find it. Oh, that remember what I was didn't talking work. about? Remember I was talking about that new Bleach character that looked like uh, that one, the vacuum lady's mom? Uh, someone in the Von... No, not the Von der Reich arc. There's a the new... The Hell arc! There's a new manga arc that's happening. Yeah, apparently. Anyway, uh, here's the character. Because they can't not ever have an arc of Bleach that isn't animated. Last one's getting animated, they gotta add a new one to be manga anyway, this, only. This is the character I was talking about. Was that necessary? What, the Naginata, the, the huge tits, the ponytail, or the bleach in the background? It just, it stopped me in place to tell me that I picked up five rupees. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can... It, uh, it tends to do that. Yeah, that is a, uh... That is a very kawaii classmate-looking character to be what looks like a captain in the Soul Society. Yeah, yeah, captain. Uh... <laughs> She looks like Unohana if Unohana was, like, moe as shit. What's her name? Uh, well, give me a moment. Let me, uh, let me see if I can... I, I, I'm not gonna put the picture on stream so people can look her up for themselves. Yeah. I mean, it's not lewd, but... There's a pain. It's, not... it's, a, it's a pain to put pictures on stream while I'm playing something. Yeah. No, I agree. I don't know how to get up to the place it wants me to get to. Uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm going to have to. Did we not come through here before? I guess not. Well, why didn't we come through here? Well, that's just Ooh! annoying. What? That looks cool. That's a cool shot. Well, there's the. Eldrazi Castle. Oh, uh... Ket Ketori Batsu Unsai. That's quite a mouthful. Yeah. It's my biggest gripe with Skyward Sword. You have... Game has to cut away and explain every single thing every time. What, what was up? Yeah, my gripe with Skyward Sword, and this is my first. This is my first uh, introduction to the game. It was through compilation, and one of the uh, like a streamer playing games, and the streamer was like uh, playing Skyward Sword, I guess. And it uh, it you hit a, a rupee like thing. It turned out to be Rupor, and you just lost money collecting it. And I'm like, how the fuck does that work? Can you not like drop it and become richer? I get how that would be annoying with something like uh, rupees and such, but uh, right now I certainly would not mind a Navi-like character to explain what the hell I was doing when I dropped the game last. Set by step. This is what we get for not, like, playing the game, like, religiously. Oh! Okay. I don't remember if we had this last time we were here. It's, I guess it, not. It's like we've got memory loss. It's like, right, what was I doing? Uh, I guess I want a wolf from here. We should, we should do a mem or you should do a, uh, a movie night. Uh, not for the menu because there's no like good footage of that yet. No uh, official like release or anything. But I want to do Memento. Yeah. In the future. It's good. It's a good movie. Still got two hearts. Oh, you got three now. Uh, okay. Well, I'm up here. Uh, exit to the throne room, then jump down the waterfall, swim to the area on the west at the west side of the map, travel through the corridor, to head west towards the peak province. Towards the peak province. There's a corridor. So, uh, oh, I have to jump down? Yeah, the waterfall. You're, uh... I was too yeah. high. So you warp to Zora's domain, exit the throne room, jump down the waterfall, and then swim to the area at the west side of the map. Silly me. Says. I thought she was at, like, a high place, like on top of a mountain. There's a tunnel through the mountain, actually, I guess. 
Yeah. You've got to go below the mountain to get to the top of the mountain. This uh, peak province. Woof. So is she like the sheik of this game? Here. Probably be a human when you talk to her. Woof. Hey. Cool. Yeah. She looks like a character from fucking uh, Lost Planet <laughs> one. Well, kinda. Yeah, I do. That'd be funny. He's funny. What if I get? What if I like it right behind her? Will that work? <laughs> you have to go back to the fucking uh, Midna. Are you for maybe, real? Maybe here. Like I'm goddamn Superman in a phone booth. <laughs> I, I was it was it on stream that I posed the idea that'd be interesting if like there was a separate Superman and a separate Clark Kent, but that was because uh, like uh, Kal El was actually one half of a twin, and occasionally they just switch places. Like, okay, I'm gonna be Superman, and now you be Clark Kent. It was not on stream, but I said <laughs> that's kind of like the Olsen twins in Full House. Like, it makes <laughs> sense. Being a superhero is a big job. Yeah. What brings you to a dangerous place like this? Ever since Z oh, Zora's domain is frozen. Oh, it was just there. Well, half of it's frozen. Apparently the beast that lives on this mountain has been seen frequently in Zora's domain. There's a giant. Looks like this. Okay. I gotta get- I gotta talk to more people. Uh, you're gonna have to show that, uh... No fear! No fear, you just survived that. Okay, you're gonna have to show that picture to people. <laughs> this... This link is, is a lightweight. Okay, yeah, use the spinner. Progress uh, through the, uh... Nope. Darn. Just... Did you save recently? You should probably save. Oh, hey, by the way, we're back from the Wind Waker randomizer. I did that entire run between our previous and the, this stream of this game. Oh, yeah. Damn. We're, we're dragging our feet with this game, but this game, I already made my, uh, my we, thoughts we talked about this about game it plenty. clear, yeah. Do you think this game is, like, lacking in content, or is it sufficiently... I think it's just the mood of the game is just so dreary. Yeah. It doesn't really it, make me want very... to explore the world. I'm, I'm not wide-eyed to see this version of Hyrule. Yeah, I just... It's that, it's the flow of the game just really doesn't jive with me. It's, like, not as open and, like, kind of non-linear. And even in parts of non-linearity, there's not enough information to get you from point A to point B. So it, now I just have to show this to every person in the game to find out where to go next. Uh, hey, let's start with him. The Beast of Snow Peak. That's a reek fish it's holding. Okay, it's it's a hard type All of right. fish to catch. Okay, I'm going to tell you this right now. You've, uh... The solution is stupid because you're looking at the walkthrough, right? I am, yes. Do you want do you want to know where to go next? Uh, well, presumably. Or do you, want to, do you want to wait for a bit? I have the. G give me a give me a little bit. I'll 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 give up quick. I'm sure I will. But let okay. me try a little bit. All They're right. mentioning uh, the prince a lot, which makes me assume that I would have to. Where's he at? Isn't he at the healer guy? Uh. Or is he back here again? He is at the healer guy. Okay. Blub glub. Hey. I, I, I would it. pull this out of my pocket, but I, it's wet. A suspicious Wait, is this, girl. 
Is this a female Zora? Oh, hello. I don't know. It's very androgynous. He is. They are. Maybe it's just a Zora that's not wearing a mask. Because most of the other ones are wearing masks. Yeah, they're wearing fish heads. Like, like weirdos. <laughs> yeah, the swimming is so slow in this game. He's not a good swimmer. He's not a good much of anything. Oh, we gotta be more way. realistic. People want a realistic Zelda. No, no, we want... I want a Zelda... I want a cyberpunk Zelda. That'd be cool. Oh, I can't warp now. People are looking. I might scare the fish people. Yeah, they'll... they'll kill you. I gotta find a dark alley with which to transform into my Miraculous. Lucky charm! I don't think there is a wolf miraculous. What would that be the power of? I don't know. Sin. Most of them have fucking nothing to do with their animal. You told me that, like, that, like, uh, it turns out Chloe has a good sister. Uh, yeah, so Jack has officially dropped miraculous, and it's... I can't blame him because it's just gotten worse and worse and worse <laughs> since season I, one. I could see the writing on the wall. It was a show that started off as, like, a, a trope-aware, better version of Sailor Moon. Like, hey, this has promise. They know what they're doing. And then it ends with you wishing you were watching Sailor Moon. It blew up and got successful, so I think they decided they wanted to keep it running as long as possible. And they decided yeah. that no one could change or develop. They couldn't change anything about the formula, ever. Don't fuck with the formula. And it's also gotten more of that, like... It's, it's almost like it started catering more to that, like, preschool-level audience. The kind of ultra-cringe, obvious mistakes that they have characters making. Because these are, these are mistakes that a very small child would make in Judgment. Yeah, it's very, very small child that uh, you say. Yeah. They're, they're teenagers, right? So. They, they are teenagers in the show. And they, like, have they go through episodes and they learn lessons, but they never really learn lessons. That's the sign of a good show, when characters don't learn lessons, right? Aesop Amnesia? That's a, that's a trope I should use all the time, right? Over the course of the three seasons, they, uh, they very, very slowly seemed to be willing to reform the, like, the mean girl rival character, Chloe. Yeah. And, and, then they just and it was decided... making very, very gradual process, progress, and then uh, season four, she relapsed. She is now worse than ever, and they decided to introduce that she has a conveniently much nicer sister to fill the role that a nicer Chloe might have filled in the narrative. That just sounds like too much work. They're that's so like, dedicated no to not developing the character that they just introduced a new character to, be to like fill the, the role point. of what a reformed one would have done. <sighs> Is there it's any annoying. reason for us to be open at a time like this? No. Okay. What no! Are, I'm going to the healer guy. Do we yeah, have a are. do we have a sun's song? Uh, no. We just stuck at nighttime. Oh, it's a homeless Goron child. That's sad. Homeless Goron child. Well, I mean, he maybe he's probably got a ho home in Goron Village, but down here he's just sleeping on the street. <laughs> oh, he's sleeping on the street in like fucking luxury. Look at all those. I'm looking for Healer Man. I will try talking to him, and if that is not a useful lead, then I will, uh, I'll ask you where to go. Uh, okay. I'm guessing it, by your tone that it will not be a useful lead, but, uh... Do you even know where the Healer is? He's in one of these houses, isn't he? Yeah, you're right. You're in Kakariko Village, right? Isn't that where he is? Yeah, he's there. 
I actually thought I tried to remember. Was he in the fucking uh, Hyrule Town? No, he's not. I thought he was in like one of the houses closest to like one of the. No, I exits. think he's in one of the towers, the tower houses. I think it might either be that one or the one you passed. I think it's this one. Hey, yep. I need to talk to the fish. Greetings. Felt Ilya could use a change of scenery, so we came here. It's so much happier and not at all depressing here in Brown Death Village. <laughs> Brown Death Village. Why are you sad, Ilya? Is, is it because you're in this game and not a different Zelda game? Why does? Why is it that that a fucking Zelda game reminds me of of like Fallout New Vegas? Something like Fable, Dark Souls. I, the Skyrim might even be a little happier than this. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Souls is happier. No, no not Dark. Like... I didn't say Dark Souls is happier, but just yeah, running around a rocky area, I kind of feel like it's similar to Dark Souls level design yeah. sometimes. Uh, I would say that Dark Souls has better level design because because it's not like like it has like features that like set each like area even within the same like level distinct from like another one. You know. Oh, there was a hole in the middle of his floor. Oh yeah, it lived down here. Okay, well I couldn't find the fish guy. Jack, where am I going? Um, you're going to the graveyard. I see. In Kakariko. The Kakariko graveyard. How how get out of hole? Uh, I don't know. You fell in. I I'm not. I I. I... I'm just telling you where you need to go, man. <laughs> you want eat my oh, that's right. The sliming ha climbing has to be <clears throat> slow and realistic in this game. Yeah. I don't understand why they... I, I don't... I don't. I, it I, was, I, I don't like it personally, but it was what American audiences at the time wanted. American audiences at the time were a bunch of fucking idiots. They rejected Wind Waker. It was too cartoony. And then this came out, and it was uh, the best Zelda game, best-selling Zelda game of all time until Breath of the Wild. Outsold Ocarina, outsold Majora. I'm sure, and I, you know what? People like it. That's fine. I don't. That's also fine. All right, graveyard. And it's not—it's not the fact that it's that it's depressing. I just saw the menu yesterday for fuck's sake, and that's one of my. High, like one of my highest rated movies this year. Probably one, but then again, I haven't seen very many new movies this you year. You said that had like comedy elements, which I didn't get from it the was trailers. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> uh, it's There's described on Wikipedia as a horror black comedy. Yeah, yeah, it, it matches. It's very good. Again, I don't want to like give away too much about it. I just want to say that when, they, when I said it was funny, it is. There are a lot of really funny jokes in that movie. Oh, here's the prince. And uh, it's gee, not that guy could have told us, hey, where's the prince? Oh, he's out here. I guess I no, could have showed him the thing, maybe. Yeah. He's a very, very effeminate looking fish boy. Hello? What can I do? Oh, that's right. I need to show her the thing, I guess. Show him the thing. Didn't. No? You didn't. Do you know how to catch enough. reek fish? Yeah, you gotta show him the sketch. You just didn't do it properly. Try again. You're not doing it proper! What's <laughs> properly? Here? Is get, this get good? Over, get in front of him. Get, like, in his face and do it. This is as close as I can get. Okay, do it. The beast man of the snowy mountain. He's got like uh, he's got a shiner in his right eye. Oh yeah, <laughs> somebody punched him in the right eye. Okay, yeah, tell me. Must be a reek fish. Feeds on a valuable type of coral. Without that bait, even our best fishers can't catch one. 
my earring is made of this coral. What, your earring is made of fish bait? Well, it could be made as a fish, but that's not its primary purpose. I like that they use one of the warp songs as, like, a proper song in this. Yeah, it's a good song by itself. Mother and child rocks in the waterfall basin near my village. Thank you, some fuck. finally, some fucking direction! <laughs> Where am I going, bro? Hey, I'm a hero, I'm pretty good at fighting, but I really need my work cut out for me. Can you guys do that? <laughs> I'm lost! What? Why do you care so much? People may... Maybe people would be cool with it, Midna. Maybe they would accept my furrydom, you don't know. And meanwhile, he's just like, who are you talking to? What the fuck? Can I warp here? No, no one's alive here. Okay. Okay, do you, where, where do you think you're going next? Uh, well, it said Zora's Domain, the the mother and child rocks at the basin of Zora's Domain waterfall? Yeah, well, I mean, it's Mark, yeah, yeah, go for it. No, that that mark is where Kuvira is. Yeah. So Ashe? Get... That's her name. Yeah. Hello. Woof. You're, you're gonna need to be, uh, to, you know, catch the catch a fish, and I, unless you can fish as a wolf. I know. Man, they won't... I guess it makes <coughs> sense they won't talk to you if you're a dog. It was a dumb animal. What are they gonna say? Oh, what a, what a good boy. All right, mother and child rocks at the basin of this waterfall. No fear! You know, for a person who did a really graceful dive, you you hit that water like a sack of bricks. I really did. You'd expect him to go under more. Uh, there's the mother oh, yeah. and child rocks. These. You know, uh. These look right. Are these the mother? You can ask the Zora. Hey, is this the mother and child rocks? No, you're just gonna talk about that. That uh, that uh, that is that, that the reefish? I that see fish. Person. Is this mother and child? I also keep pausing to access my items because that's what I've done in every Zelda game before now. Yeah, shame that it's not. Uh... All right, Wait. we got. We're forced to fish. Enter the world of fish and become who you were meant to be. You remember how to fish? Nope. <laughs> Am I supposed to pull it when it goes down? I, I think, yeah. All right, let me, let me look up how to fish again. I pressed the Y, because A button says quit. I pressed the Y button instead. Uh, how about you settle down and let me look up how to fish? Okay, I'm not because doing any apparently you Because apparently you just, just, information just goes in one ear and it just decays rapidly. <sighs> to fish. Twilight Princess GameCube. No other button seems to do anything besides A, is the thing. How do you fish? Okay, it can be equipped with either the X or Y buttons. You press back on the C stick, Link will raise his left hand, turning the rod vertically. Only by releasing the C stick quickly will the line be cast into the water. The first, how do you fish in Zelda? The first and most simple is to throw a bomb in the water near them. What? <laughs> Dynamite fishing? Jack, I don't think... why are you so bad at Googling things? 
I look. This was the only one that actually like. I can't even wiggle the rod, man. Sonic Adventure had better fishing than this. Maybe you should wait to get a bite as opposed to just like like edging the fish. All right, I'll just I'll let it sit there while you yeah, continue let... to Google. Hey, you know what? Maybe something will happen. Or, you know what? Maybe this isn't even the right, like... Yeah. Link okay. must simply wait until the bobber gets pulled down underwater at least half its total length. Yeah, that, I caught that, yeah. I just now saw that. Then pull the sea stick back to catch the fish? Yeah, so you're... So what you're doing... Yeah, see... See the bobber? It's going down, so when it goes halfway, you pull you pull the C-stick, and you should... Uh... Okay, that's what I needed to know. Pull the C-stick back. Yeah, now... Is that our... Yeah, it's reek fish. It's a sacred fish. It reeks! Okay. Uh... So... So, uh... So, you, so the one monster, you need to find it how? Well, I should probably bottle this, I assume. Uh, no. Uh, you need to be a wolf. Okay. To get it sent. Sniff. There you go. Yes, I don't need to remember the ghosts. Okay, so now you're gonna... So you can't keep any fish you catch in this game. No. So now go go back to uh, to uh, the, uh, the, uh, the 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 Eskimo woman and uh, yeah, do that. So if the fish was able to catch these things, that means he was using his eight his earring as as a fishing hook. Seems like it. Oh, the woman's gone. She gave up on the Yeti hunt. How abominable. Could I have taken this path the whole time if I just looked harder? Uh, I'm sure there were, the flags wouldn't have been set. You needed to, like, do that. Just because... I could have jumped across those. Those didn't change position or anything. What the? Arctic foxes? Dumb foxes. You won't stop me from getting to where I need to go. Every Zelda game needs one of these. The haunted wasteland. Th this whole entire game is a wasteland. Even the forest looks dead. Oh. Did you hit? I, I guess I must have. It knocked me out of sense mode. Probably need to go around. Lift. This is so primal, just like just desperately quiet, clinging up rocks to follow a scent. Zora's domain music playing very, very lightly in the background. So, uh, yeah, just circle around, see if you find the way up. You did. And this Yeti can fucking climb. Ah! Uh, I don't want to get hit by anything. I'm at low health. It's the Yeti! The Yeti! <laughs> Did I ever show you that, uh, that video? I don't believe so. It's like Hulk Hogan in WCW. Is it gonna be too cold for you? 
I don't know how to climb up. You can use, uh... Use your hook shot. Okay, that will... How to cause an avalanche, 101. Man, that's some sturdy snow. Okay. I don't have fire arrows or anything, do I? It appears there's no way up. Uh, okay, uh, do you give up? I give up. Uh, as Wolf Link just, just ram into the wall. O only Wolf Link has the strength. Just, just charge into, into it as Wolf Link, just, like... That was more impactful than a fucking bomb. <laughs> <laughs> uh, keep your senses off. There's a there's a howling stone. Uh, yeah, there it is. Did you forget how to operate these? Did I do it? Oh, I have to press A to howl, that's right. Yeah. No? Yeah, listen again, I guess. You didn't do it right. Not fast enough. Yeah. Not fast enough! There's such weird intervals. Down. Yeah. <laughs> they have it. nothing to do with the, the graph. <laughs> you... <laughs> Do it again! <laughs> See, that's on point. Up, and then middle, and then down. No, I get it. It's not... The notes are not the problem. It's the timing. There you go. Hello, Sandy. Now, what is this song? I don't recognize it. It's a creepy song. It's a creepy ass song. Is this for the Wii U? No, this is the uh, this is the GameCube version emulated on Dolphin. I don't think we have any texture packs or anything. But it is upscaled to uh, the dolphin resolution. I guess that's a, just a new song. Unless it's from one like the 2D games. it so well that's far away what where the guy is yeah it was like all the way across Hyrule
Oh, I'm sorry, Midna. Am I boring you? What, me? No, Midna. Oh. Okay. Uh... Oh, the Golden Wolf's just back at Kakariko Village Graveyard, so you could... Oh, well, just... I well, guess I, I, Yeah, I want a place to warp here first. Yeah, good good call. That's what the guide says as well. Can't climb up a ladder as a wolf. So much for being the superior species. Spyro could do it. If I, he had to be taught, but... What is this series of bars on a wall? I don't know what to do with this. No one got time for that. I'm not fighting you. Oh, that's right. I can't oh, climb good. with any semblance of speed. It's a shame. Probably get that heart. Probably get those hearts. If only I had some wood to eat. <laughs> eat wood? There's a thing you can do in Breath of the Wild. That's like the shittiest food you can cook, is just cooking oh, yeah. wood. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that, yeah. Because it's not an actual ingredient and shit. Sure are a lot it. of bats here. Beat them all at once. Good luck with that. Come here. Hey, you. Is that a Gobun? Oh, is that the- that's the Yeti! Hello, Yeti! Are you the Yeti? Woof. Now listen. I want to listen to his sad story. Rare <laughs> color of wolf. He's got a Rare saddle color. on his head. Nice. Rare color of wolf looks tasty. But tonight, fish night. Maybe another time. Eh, probably probably need to be human to talk to this guy. Usually the wolf, the wolves can like talk to animals, right? Yeah, well. He, oh no, he I like... wouldn't want to spook the yeti. Well, he's bigger than you. You, you don't want to like let him slap you off the mountain or anything. You're gonna have to be human. I wonder if it's just like a proximity to any NPC or something. Perhaps, yeah. Oh, uh, progressing uh, for uh, before. Okay, never mind. Sorry, what were you saying? Yeah, that doesn't matter. All right. Uh. It, the guy had said that you could go learn the skill before progressing forward, so I'm guessing that this is going to be a long, drawn-out thing. We're going to go immediately to the fucking, uh... Well, yeah, probably, but again, we still don't have a warp point here. You, did, you didn't... You unlocked that warp point when you beat all those guys. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Am I on a spiritual journey? No. Uh, no. Ooh. 
if you said yes. You may you lucky to meet me. I find shiny mirror piece. What is is it really that simple? What what a nice yeti and he t he talks both human and animal. Possibly. We we sledding? Seems like it. You would think if he does this often, then he would have some kind of sled apparatus with him, and not rely on it. such a small piece of ice from a tree. Doesn't need it. The trees grow on it. All right. All, All right. See you later, Yeti. You're going to the graveyard again. That's where the wolf is. Eddie, the mean old Yeti. <laughs> I love that. Ooh. It's nearby. Hello. Wolf. He went right for the scalp. Go for the throat. I think that's a magic card. Go for the knees. We meet again. At last the skills I have to teach you have entered the realm of true secrecy. Okay. Among the techniques are some that may even endanger you. Oh, is cast from health points? I must test you to ensure you've mastered the last skill. But boy, do you know how long it's been? <laughs> Memory loss is a bitch. Oh. Yeah, okay. An attack. The mortal draw. Let it be hewn into your mind. Alright, how does this work? Well, the last one sure wasn't hewn. All right, okay, you're just skipping enemy... through without, like, reading it. I, well, you're not reading it either. Yeah, ooh, how about the one playing? So there's some enemies that are, like, they're, they're super tough. They've got defenses in the front and the back, and this this is for them. You must sheathe your sword and cast aside the most basic of sword skills, the L target. Wait until your foe is upon you. Then before the enemy can see through your ruse, quickly draw your blade with A. Oh, it's the I. All right. There is no defense for this. The That's mortal the draw deals death. The technique has no defense. Put away. Oh, uh, you're, you're not. You gotta wait for them to attack. Oh, it has to be sheet. That's right. Yeah. It's just a oh, faint was... swing. That was a pointed strike. Do not forget this technique leaves your life at risk. Yeah, because your sword's not out. Yeah, it's just it's just an EI strike. You just Oh, there's still two more? Do not neglect your daily train daily, fuck that. Yearly at this rate. All right, back to the mountains. I guess 
that's just the name of it. It's just Mount Snow Peak. Okay, time to uh, go down and slide. There you go. Was that was that really necessary game that I gotta save just in case we like get into a horrible debilitating accident. Yeah. Okay. Now uh oh, you miss. Oh you can just there you go. Cue sonic music. I was about to say, uh, rolling around at the speed of Link. Tony Hawk. Oh, can we do, like, is there, like, quarter pipes? No, there are not. <laughs> it's okay, it's we brought two. R really? You're just gonna have no fucking music for this sequence. Wait, wait you, you really want escape? For, you can just edit it in and post later when you do the highlights. What, what little there are of this game. I think there'll be enough, it's just, boy, that's gonna be a lot of footage to go through. Yeah. Hey, yo, Fee, jump off the big-ass ramp! Uh, I have mentioned on the Discord, I think I am planning to get Scarlet, and I'll just, I'll do a solo stream of it and try to get through it pretty quickly. I'm looking, I, that's the solo stream I'm most looking forward to, uh, to watching, because I, I want to know if, like, the, uh, tech issues plague you as hard as they plagued other streamers. I have heard people are loving it aside from the very glaring and just unforgivable like tech and graphical issues. Everything else about the game people seem to love. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's cyberpunk. So uh it's, I it's it's shaping up to be one of the generation one of one of the good generations so far according to most people. Yeah, aside from the fact it, that it alienated a lot of people by going, what the, what is up with all the fucking... That's not new, people said that about. The sword shield should have looked way better, it's on console. Okay, that... Although, the, the, this the, game the, looks worse than sword shield. The fake, the fake, uh, diglet was coming out that guy's dick. Did you see the, uh, thing I posted in media? Uh, no, I didn't. Is it, the, is it that same one? It's, it's not. It's not the right? video of it. It's a, It's an artist depiction. Oh. Wait, haunted mansion? Okay, we're in an icy haunted mansion. Yeah, I saw that. Game of the year. Jack wife. <laughs> oh yeah, that that showed up in My Hero Academia. I yeah, don't. I maybe it. that must be the name of a hero. <laughs> I probably just blinded something important in that room. Oh, hello. Is this, is this the one where you're gonna need the lens of truth? I don't know. So I guess this is the Yeti's house, and it's just a dungeon. Also, chests yeah. are not hookshotable. No longer, unfortunately. They, they realized that that was abusable. So they want to make the game uh, harder. Can you imagine a Legend of Zelda game with like uh, Mario or Hat or Hat and Time like level of uh, maneuverability options? It's not really what Zelda's about. I know, but it'd just be it'd just be something different, like uh, like Parkour Link. Would be different. It'd be like Young Link, but. All right, I'll get this this section of the guide open. Just in case. Oh, here he is. Hey. Ooh. Oh. Oh, it's, it's Miz or Child Yeti. I can't tell which yet. It's a. Uh, I have I, sickness. Ugh. Unga. Unga bunga. Okay. Is there gonna be some Yeti cuckolding? Is that what's going on here? <laughs> Mister Yeti me. gonna walk in and get the wrong idea? You make squish squish with wife. You cute little human. Husband told me you come. You oh, won't look at your... mirror, huh? My husband found it, but it pretty. Since I get mirror, I get sick. Many bad monsters appear. So many bad things happen. 
Well, you know, I could take it. We lock bedroom on third floor. What? This is not... This is the most non-Zelda setting I've ever seen in a Zelda it's game. It's we great. followed I... a Yeti to his house, which is a uh, frozen-over spooky mansion, and we're talking wish... to his wife, who if has locked did... the MacGuffin in if the third-story bedroom. If they did this shit earlier, I wouldn't have lost interest in this game. This, this, this is actually intrigued me. A map of a mansion. Cool. Is this even a dungeon, or is this just like... That's the first floor, though. I thought we were... Okay. We bring it. Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> Tarantino shot. Oh, yeah. Beauty and the Beast times three. Oh, never mind. There's an emote. Oh, you... Wife, Is that your tail? Look bad. Ugh. Well, that's not a nice thing to say. I make soup for her with fish. You have some soup. It give you energy. Oh, it's like grandma's soup. She going. Whoa! That's giant fuck off. That's a sword. If you just looked at this corner of the room, it almost looks like a, like a Silent Hill room. Yeah. Pyramid Head's gonna come get you. Alright. So this is gonna ruined. be story important. I gotta get the soup. Don't eat the soup, says Sandy. Why? Because it would be, like, rude? Simple soup. Smells like fish broth. Oh, two just... hearts? That's not bad. Maybe I'll need it later. Or maybe I can save him a trip. Maybe I'll just bring it to the wife. Alright. You see, we seem to be doing... We seem to do better with uh, dungeons than we do with just traversing the world in this game, so... The... Traversing the world in this game is very, very obtuse and non-linear, but the dungeons are very linear. It's, it's kind of the opposite of, like... Nope. Okay. I'll just drink it in front of her. Sorry, I struggle with doors. <laughs> it's just... This is a guy character who can he can't open doors. He's just gonna only just go through them like he's just like doing an action shot. I'm thinking of that with uh, that Vinny linked to the past playthrough where he just spent ten seconds trying to get down the stairs and couldn't. Is this the is this the freezer? Okay, you're gonna need to push a box on on that. Y'all like pushy blocky puzzles? Everyone likes pushy blocky puzzles. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Soko Bon. That was not a good idea. So I guess I'm pushing the ice one and not these ones. No, I can push these ones. <laughs> okay. But I need okay. to push them into certain places. Yep. No, I can't move that one. It. it I forget that in Zelda universe, touching ice is it freezes you. You might not be able to do this one. Oh, never mind. You you finished. You solved it immediately. I like pushy blocky puzzles. I'm I'm the weird guy. I'm gonna guess that this is uh this is a, a temple that's gonna give you the uh, fire arrows. Joel also says he likes the ice slide puzzles in, like, the ice cave and gold silver, things like that. Yeah. I'm more of a combat guy in games myself. I like... It. That's not gonna work. Uh, he and I weirdly have a lot of things that line up about video games. Yeah. One thing I don't agree with that he said, he... he Where are you going that, back? Because what else am I gonna do here? Wolf, you dig down underneath the fucking... All right, Fence. Mr. Smart Guy. Uh, yeah, that's right. I am smart because I've noticed that immediately. 
Uh, he doesn't like that you got a way to choose any time to travel to in Majora 3DS. Oh, yeah. He says that he, he likes waiting. The waiting is the best part of the game. I'm like, shut up, Joel. Yeah. That sounds like a, uh, a Ross game dungeon uh, opinion. That sounds like something Ross would say. Uh, boy, is Kingdom Hearts behind that door? There's a cannon. Wait, there's a cannon. Hey! <laughs> Did you not see the fucking wolves come out of the snow? I was getting a drink of tea. Oh, what kind of tea? There's green tea. Okay, cool. I when I went to uh I went to see uh, the room at the cinema bar, which is like down the street from where I live. Yeah. And uh, and I can't I, I you know I'm staying away from sugar now. Um, so if they have that. I can't drink alcohol because that's not good either for my condition. Uh, so I'm like, what do they got? They got club soda. They got. They got tea, they got iced tea because they make Long Island iced teas at the center bar. So I'm like, okay, well, uh, I'll have some iced tea, and and uh, it was not good, it yeah, was bitter. So I'm like, hey, you got any you got any like sugar free sweetener? And they bring me one packet of Splenda, and they're like, this is all we got, just the one. <laughs> like, I'm like, I understand. <laughs> Times are tough. Times are tough. Well, that may have been a mistake. They have, I, they uh, serve me um, mozzarella sticks, and they're the best mozzarella sticks I've had ever. What the fuck? What are you supposed to be? I don't know. I, I would ask, but Minda doesn't know enemy names. Minda, she's not a fairy. Fairies would know about enemy names. There's something in the ice. Oh. Maybe as a maybe you're supposed to take him down as as a wolf. I guess maybe I have to. It definitely does seem to want to encourage me to be a wolf in this area with the snow. Yeah. Just head on assault. That doesn't work. Attack it head on. These things won't go down. Stop running, coward! It seems like they spawn infinitely. Oh! Okay, is that a key? Maybe you could get him with the arrows as well. Yep, key, cool. All right, we're we're uh, certainly doing something now. <clears throat> I like I like they just give you the map immediately. They know that this level is bullshit. Y'all need this many hallways. You know what sucks is that every time I hear somebody say y'all, I can't help but like think of that. Maybe they'll die eventually if you hit them enough times. Yeah. Yeah. I d those wouldn't be the freezers of this game, would they? Evolution is a funny thing. They just evolved into something slightly worse. This is the best- why is this the best designed level so far? Yeah, there's a chest in, in there. I guess that's where the mirror is. <laughs> or... The Resident Evil dungeon. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Has there ever been a dungeon that's been a mansion before? There hasn't really in, like, my the 2D Zelda games I've played. Yeah. Or even then, it was, it was so abstract, it didn't really matter. It's mini what? ice titans. What the fuck? <laughs> They're... Their hands are so weird! Oh. 
you do Mortal Strike. Nah. I only do other things when mashing B doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, tr stop fighting with ice, idiots. Cool. You, you fought, uh... Ice people. Okay. Great! Pumpkin! This isn't right. She got the wrong location. It's a fetch quest! It's gonna be in the third floor tower. I know, I... I obviously it's gonna be the last place we go. Yeah. That's fine. I, I'm, I'm cool with this. Oh! Hey, cool. There's... What's up here? Who leaves a single pumpkin in a chest? Somebody who really likes pumpkins. What the fuck? You gotta pull it? Nope. Pushing it doesn't... Okay, that's bizarre. I'm guessing you gotta do, do it something from the other side of that, uh, of that, like from one of the other entrances up there. I guess. I can't like climb it though, so I can't get to the other side from here. I'm, I'm no. See, there's doors up on that third, on that uh, second floor. So you're gonna get into this room, but from uh, from the second floor uh, on that other side. So just ignore it for now. Uh, you're gonna have your what? Okay, yeah. No, I am going back to like the center, aren't I? You're going to. I thought you were gonna go uh, to uh, to meet the uh, woman again. Yeah. The yeah. So you're going the wrong way. Is the pumpkin gonna be an ingredient for the soup that makes it more potent or something? Is that is that how this is gonna work? Wow, you really are lost. Go south. I must get the fire arrows in this dungeon, or something yeah. to melt ice because of that thing in the middle there. Does, does the ham? Do you still have the hammer? Hammer? I didn't get a hammer. Yeah, in a this hammer? Game. Okay, no, that was that's Wind Waker. Sorry. It's either that. It's either hammer or fire arrows. Uh, my man. You want a pumpkin? What flavor? Uh, pumpkin! Ow. <laughs> take! This mine! You take! He's got a good heart, even if he's like... you taste if you want. Is it gonna make it... Drink the potion, because it's two free hearts. Yeah. It's Wait, gonna be upgraded. You... It'll be upgraded. Uh, I'll come back. I'm gonna talk to the wife anyway. Just like... Pumpkin? Why the? But why pumpkin? Why, why there? That? Why now? Oh good. Uh, where I leave it? Uh, maybe in that room. On the back center. Okay. Well, she's okay. unlocking the doors for us as we go. Yeah, we're 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 now authorized to go into these. Uh, so the pumpkin in a roundabout way was a key. Man, that soup was all right. It needed more pumpkin. Good soup. What's up for hearts. hearts? Fish broth. So it's got fish, fish and pumpkin. pumpkin. That's a weird combination already. Was it that one? Yeah, it's gotta be that one. We're going to the back center now. Yeah. Boy, what are we gonna fight here? More wolves. There's a what big the frozen fell. Is that a freezer? That, it's fucking huge! That's some Metroid Prime shit right there. No, don't guessing... target the wolf! Okay, you know what? Just, just, just... Oh, you can't leave, because... 
How are you, how are you supposed to fight that thing? Well, I would like to try an arrow at least, but he doesn't want to fire. And he keeps getting distracted by the wolves. Just, just kill the wolves first so that they don't harass you while you're like... They respawn. I, I don't... Are you sure about that? Okay, the arrows do not work. Either that or bombs. What the fuck? What the, the coin... Wait! You're supposed to use the cannon? Turn the cannon. Oh, turn the cannon, you put a bomb in the... <laughs> this level's amazing. <laughs> Good thing you got, you, you have some bombs. If you run out, you would have been fucked. Ice to meet you! What? No? No? Okay. Uh... That seems like such... Obviously the solution. And you can't go... You can't go, uh, west? From where you are? West. Uh, that yeah. is a locked door. Okay. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna look at the guide. Oh yeah, that is a freezer. <laughs> this is very oh, okay. bad at keeping these wolves Z-targeted. Okay, uh... I'm listening. Make your way to the northeast corner of the map and climb through the window. Bullshit! How would you ever know? Northeast? Huh? How northeast? We can't get to the northeast corner North of the map. There's ice in the way. Uh. Maybe, maybe the X actually meant northwest. Yeah, this would be northwest. Yeah, unless unless north is south and south is north here. North. Oh, it says Northwest. I misread it. Sorry. Northwest. My, my bad. I saw East. I don't know why. All right. But he also takes forever to draw his sword in this game compared to the 64 ones. Yeah, he doesn't immediately. You're just... You are terrible at not getting hit. I did drink, it! You should probably drink your soup, man. You're low on health. There's a... Oh, it's a cannonball. Okay. That makes more sense now. Is that all that's in here? Good soup. It is good soup. All right. Uh, more of these things. They're called mini freezers. Okay, so we're kind of right. In both cases, arrows do not seem to damage them. Hey, you, you like, uh, what was the name of the, uh, you like, uh, shit, I, why can't I remember that Olympic sport with the stones? Uh, curling? Yeah, you like curling? Okay, oh, there's a cannon you gotta bring, in this the, room you gotta too? bring the cannon in there. You gotta put the cannonball in the cannon, and then the bomb is going to be like the the primer, and, and, then, and then that'll break through to to the uh, to silly the other me. Side. I thought we would break bring right the through to the other side. I thought we would bring the cannonball back into the other room. I'm guessing there's gonna be another cannonball that you're gonna. No, it just doesn't let you take it through a door. 
yeah, doors are weird like that. He says you want to go to the center room. That's what the that lady told you to do. This room doesn't appear to lead anywhere. It'll lead us to a key, though. So it leads you to somewhere. Place. What? Oh, is it a is it a, a rear loading cannon? Okay. Uh, I hope this was the right way. That was, yep. Climb. Hey. Okay, now you go forward. Wait, what? It won't let me climb. Wait, that was the only cannonball, though, so I can't, like, fire you again. Probably, probably retrieve it from over there. Just, if you go on the ice and, like... Oh, hey, there's Hello, a chest. small key. Could be a key in there. Nope, just oh, more, more bombs. bombs. I mean, you need those, so fuck it. All right. So you're gonna. So you re. re uh... Okay. Who owned this place? Okay. So now south. Uh, the south entrance is uh, opens. So you go in there. I'm not even reading the guide right now. I'm just okay. Can't use that cannonball. That cannonball is key to that room. Uh oh, y'all got holes in the floor. <laughs> they don't use this room. Oh, the uh, well, it's not really a mansion, but there was a uh, Ikana Castle in Majora's Mask. That was a castle. That's a staple. Mansions are different. Can you knock them off. Oh, that was close. Can you knock them off? Yeah, you can. Cool. Fix your floors. They're they're yeti, not like craftsmen. Leave them alone. What? Hello. I gotta worry You're, about sliding. You are running out of arrows. I want you to know that. Okay. You're just robbing them blind. It's not and like they'll would. ever get to this chest. Sorry, right. I'm not good with chests. And we're, it's too early for fire arrows. Yeah. I was expecting a key. Okay. Uh, so... Do we... I guess we're going back. Is there anything yep, we're gonna else have to go back in this to the... room? You're going to have to go back to the center courtyard. But you're not going back to, to the Yeti, you're just going to go back to the center courtyard. To, uh... I guess we'll have to find a cannonball there. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you will. Can you throw the at the freezer? Nope. Okay. It's gonna let yourself get frozen again. Well, I'd like again. to try. And again, you can like knock him away first before you. But then like, they'll go mindlessly... like wacky. See? Uh, you can stay. How about another idea? You can stand on top of a ledge so they don't can't immediately touch you and then hit him from a safe zone. Oh no! Wait, you're not going to do that because. Of some arbitrary reason. Well, why we're trying you don't to get the cannonball and throw it at him. Okay, so you're gonna need to go wolf form. See the chest? The chest? Yeah, on the map. Okay. Oh, I gotta dig more? Yeah, it was dug enough that you could see it, now you gotta, like, actually dig more so you can... There you go. 
Good boy. Cool. Now you can unlock, uh... Yep. Man, I wish I, a human, had hands that I could dig with. Oh, we got three cannonballs. Yep. Uh... And a ladder. And a push block. That'll be for later. Yeah, probably. Um... Hmm. Where's the ladder go? Because it, cause it seems like that's what that... Oh, there's another fucking freezer up there. Hello. Okay. So wait, I can I can't take them through doors. Yes, you can now. But I can take that? them through gates, or do I have to use this? You have to use that. No. What? Well, like, give me a second. Come on, Jack. I'm not reading from the guide. I'm just like looking at going. Okay, that's what you need to do. Okay, yeah, that's that's a clever mechanism. Wow, they're on you immediately. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Oh my god, to be thick snow on the way there. So, did you actually see them respawn, or did you just assume? No, they resp They have respawned in every room that we've been in. I, I fought could... both of them before. <sighs> they are just there to make it more difficult for you to do the task in the room. Oh, they break down in a mini... Okay. So, I can only aim this at 90 degree angles. So, I can't aim yeah. it at these two walls. I guess I could aim it at that stone wall. Yeah. Would that work, though? Okay, you can aim it south. Uh, I don't know what that'll do, but... So, your plan... Your, your, so, rather than, like, actually make an attempt to try to kill everybody there, you're just gonna be like, oh, well, and you're just gonna tank the damage. You're correct. That is my plan. Oh, my God. These guys will die. Unfortunately, Link takes a year to pull his sword out. Maybe, maybe you can make an effort and humor me and, like, try and kill them all? Nah. No, you're... You're just gonna die. You're just going to die like a, like a silly, silly man. Did the, uh, did the freezer break into those two smaller freezers? Yes, they did. Uh, did you not notice when the cannonball careened? And no, I did not. You saw those two remain- Oh my god! Jack, we're fine. <laughs> Everything's going to be okay. You're a heart and a half almost dead, dude. Here, I'll do a You're... nice... I'll do a save for you. God. Don't fucking patronize me. Death or means nothing me or in Zelda. Me. You're just... There's got gotta be a certain sense of, like... Oh, we've got more bombs. bombs. I mean, yeah, you're gonna need them if you're gonna be made in the cannons. Should we try the stone wall? It doesn't seem like it would do anything. You can try it, yeah. Hey, it keeps, hey, the it keeps track of where the balls are on the map. That's somehow. nice. Somehow. The wolf really doesn't want to be up on the stone. What is it? Is it because it was made with fire? It's they like. They seem like they're like elemental wolves. They just come out of the snow, and they will only survive on the snow. Yeah. Yeah, that's as expected. Okay, yeah. It was worth a shot. You know, other shots that can be taken, like killing all the wolves and the thing, seeing if they respond, if they stop respawning after a certain point. Some games do that. There's like Not swarms the, yeah. that come, and then they die. Not this one. Uh, you're so sure. You're just like, you stubborn fuck. Why, you, why don't you look up the ice wolves in uh, Twilight Princess? You would what yeah. the Zelda wiki has to say. Right. Oh, one of them is. Ah, oh, that's the, that's an enemy from. Uh... You're gonna die here on this mini boss because you just could not set aside your fucking like hubris and just decide. To... 
Well, that yep. didn't work. I'm gonna charge head on into the fucking ball and chain, dude. I tried this to time a, my jump attack. Cool, this is a cool and good idea. Well, what do you suggest? Um, doing literally anything else than getting into attack range. You know See, how you beat the ball and chain guy in Zelda 2. You timed your attacks. You're... So, you were, you absolutely, utterly refuse to see if these stealth bros can all die, but nope, I'm just going to attack this guy head on. No, I know the wolves won't go down, that they'll spawn infinitely. What's your suggestion for how to fight this guy? I'm still feeling him out. Throw a bomb at him. That was my next thing that I was going to try. Wait, your plan A was to attack it head on, and your plan B was to use a. I would have reversed that. <laughs> what What were you thinking? It. Oh, it's that guy. What you said. What were you thinking of? I was, usually my strategy to beat those guys in Link to the Past was to throw pots at them. Okay, so these guys were in Link to the Past. I thought yeah, you were talking about that dude them. from Zelda too. Okay, that that missed. Uh, okay. I also slide. cannot like. I can't press R to shield. Okay, there you go. Now he's open. Uh. Okay, that didn't work. So he's gonna be vulnerable uh, when he when he fires the uh, ball and chain. So be ready to dodge. And then when he's there, try uh, helm splitter. Use your shield bash. Well, to... I tried that and it didn't seem to stun him. Uh, did you try it when he was like after he threw the ball and chain, or did you just try it? Uh, while he was spinning, and and it didn't work because his, uh... No, I tried it while he was after he threw the ball and chain. Also, I don't uh, know what triggers him to throw it, because he's just cornering me. <sighs> okay, keep flailing. I'm feeling the boss out! What do you want me to do, Jack? <laughs> it's just... I try an arrow next. Oh my god, this is stupid. Yeah. All right. I'm let me know when you're ready to give up and I will and I will tell you because we would never figure it out. I have a guess based on that. Obviously they have these on the Oh, they have the things on the roof that I should probably use to move around. Yeah. Uh If a solution is stupid, that's it's usually has to do with looking up. Nobody looks up in video. Did this game come out before or after Portal 2? This was like 2002? No, it was later. Portal, 2006. Sorry, not Portal 2. Portal 1. Portal... What, when was Portal 1? Okay, so he's gonna knock you down if, if you hang up there, but at least that's what triggers him to... There was a move option. Move. Oh, oh yeah, because... Okay. Yeah, come on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, hmm, stalemate! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why'd you stop? Well, because nothing else was happening. You get done literally. <laughs> okay, what do I do, Jack? Okay. Uh, use your claw shot to grab onto the targets that are on the ceiling to get to, to the other side of Dark Hammer. Wait for him to attack and dodge the ball slash at his tail. He has a tail? Wait, you didn't notice his tail? I did not notice his tail. See, see I... <laughs> that was supposed I, to be a roll. I didn't either. <laughs> he looked humanoid enough. He's gonna... Okay. Again, trying to roll, not jump. Well, we, I, we know what to do now. 
Yeah, it, you just pace it. You just do one jump slash. You don't need to like get greedy, especially if you only got three hearts for this uh, for this battle. Just play it safe. Uh, just do the How dodge. far away is the soup? Uh, it was in this room actually, over? Oh, we can't get yeah, to just, that room over there. Just go south, and you'll you'll get there. Because this that that door leads straight to uh to the Yeti room. I thought the Yeti room was on the on the east you, side. I say I say play it safe, and you're like, no, fuck that. I'd rather have the hearts to just face tank it. I, having extra health sounds like playing it safe to me. Len, I just can't win with you. <laughs> Why are you twisting my words into thinking that everything I'm saying is just like you're just like saying, well, this is playing it safe. I'm like, you could just do it with three hearts. Like. I mean, theoretically, you could. That's that's what I'm just saying. Especially now that now that the things on top are like claw shot like things. Uh, whatever. Let me just, yeah, you know, so, can I just like stick my face in? That's that'd be rude. We civilized yeah. here, Unga. Let's quit making fun of their speech. They're <laughs> Just because they talk differently doesn't mean that they're any less. <laughs> you stupid white man. There was a uh, going back to miraculous. Wrong way. Whoops. When uh when Chloe met her or saw her sister back in Paris, she said something along the lines of like uh, blonde hair, blue eyes. At least you have something good going for you. Was was she just like was the other one just like oh you're you're you oh no okay good I I thought I thought the freezer respawned I'm like you gotta go through all that shit again ridiculous uh, utterly ridiculous. By, by the way, you want to guess what this mini boss is named? Uh, any any, any ideas? You you said the name earlier, and I already forgot. Dark okay, armor good. or something? Dark hammer. Dark hammer. Okay. It sounds fucking. This is too cool for for like a Zelda game. I am Dark Hammer. Kind of sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Probably like a magic. Now, magic cards usually have proper names. I guess, nah. Yeah, like, like, half and like, half. Uh, like Vortaros, uh, Dark Hammer of the Wind, <laughs> or something. It did, your, your, your iframes didn't proc. Ah. <laughs> Damn it. I like the way his, his thing, like, interacts with Link, though. Just, uh... He plays a very safe game. Like, he doesn't... He tries not to throw unless he's sure he's gonna hit. Sort yeah. of. What are you doing? Trying to lock on. You're just walking past him. Is Link drunk? Did, he, did they add, like, a bunch of rum to the fucking, like, soup? Can you ferment pumpkins? What the fuck? I got distracted you thinking about pumpkin booze. This. You, you, like I gave you, like you weren't, you didn't fuck up until you, you got to, to like, you, you nailed the block puzzle like really easily when I wouldn't have. Look, block been puzzles able to make do. sense, Jack. This is the. I. There you go. Fuck you, Dark Hammer. You're tearing our friendship apart. Why is this guy at the Yeti's house anyway? You Was killed my movie? younger brother. I'm guessing that's an item we get. <laughs> okay. Is Oh, that's how we get through ice. Take... Yep. It just <laughs> let me put that in my pocket. 
It's not a hammer, nor is it a fire arrow. It is just a fucking... I've heard that this game had a lot of, like, weird and unique Zelda items, but they also only get used for the one dungeon they're in. Yeah, that's kind of a disappointment. <laughs> Let me just that's... waddle this way. Can you hold it and it can spin? You wanna try that? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Smash a window. Oh. Darn. Behold my perfect defense. You were a bit high on that. You can still potentially, or oh, whatever. I... Oh, or on goat cheese. Oh, for the soup. You can make... You can turn the good soup to great soup. These people really like Ordon products. Produce. Eats very well in the cold. Okay, yeah. Metal win... Metal great... What happened to room? <laughs> it's it's it looked like war zone. Ah, uh, must be younger brother. He go on crazy binge again. Dark hammer. I mean, I don't even know the names of these uh, yetis. I'm sure they have names. I I don't know them. All right. So, I guess you can just smash through ice in the center now. Yeah, we can finally go wherever. To. You come and go as you please. In uh, <gasps> random news. Dude! What? Wait, the, what, where'd the wolves go? Are they just gone? They're afraid now. They know better. Perfect. Your perfect defense. Okay, uh, other I, news. I posted that uh, Baki is apparently going to be in Tekken 8. Yeah, that'd be cool. I like I like that. She looks ditzy. She's sick. Yeah, I, that's I also true. I, just, I wonder if she's a Moe Yeti. <laughs> oh yeah, that that old trope. Hey, don't shove me, but I have your cheese. No, you have my cheese. Please don't shove me. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> gourmet soup. Oh, so it's, is it going to be go from good to great to gourmet? It's a bottle. Oh, I can't pull out my hammer here. It's not a hammer, it's a ball and chain. Oh, you still have the good soup. Drink the good soup and then make it great and then become great soup. It's unfortunate that Baki himself is such a boring character, though. Yeah. It would have been more interesting to have uh, Yujiro oh, or superb. Biscuit. <gasps> Biscuit. Oh, Complete fuck. with ball form. <laughs> that would have been a Tekken character. Or Retsu Kayo. Are there ultimate moves in Tekken? Uh, yeah, there are now. If Let's I flex my muscles, I expand to the size of a building. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> Oliver. You can't do that. No, oh, what if move. I could? Ultimate defense. Try out your ultimate defense against them. Oh. Also, the wolves are back. For yeah. some reason. Well, no, use your ultimate defense against the wolves. Spin it, and then they won't... Oh, I was gonna say, just leave it to spin, and then they can charge you. I'm trying, oh, I'm trying. Yeah! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Fuck you, wolves! <laughs> I see an ice man up there. I wonder how far this goes. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> that's so good. I like that so much. Um, oh, that's the, I've already been here. That's the rupee chest. Well, I there's think. an ice. There's an ice uh, way. There's ice blocking your way. 
Yeah, you've been here before. But now you can just access it uh, whenever, uh, even if you're, no matter which door you go through. Did she give me a new place on my map to go? No, she says she needed more time to think. Uh... I did not, in fact, uh, I was not able to find out, in fact, if the wolves infinitely respawned. But I guess it's a moot point, considering you have ult <laughs> ultimate defense. The guy said that you could kill them if you want, which implied that at some point they stopped with their attacks. Uh, I, with their I attacks. don't think it implies that. Well, I guess I'll go back and talk to the Yeti man. Okay, uh... You want any soup? We put key in nearby room, so no forgetting. Second okay. floor. Nearby. Alright, so... Well, guess what? Guess what you can use now to like uh, progress. There's a cannonball exchanger on this door. Yeah. Oh. Oh! <gasps> you use the key, the ball and chain to take out the. Wait! Wait! wait. What? To take out what? The t the, at the top of the ladder, there's a uh, freezer. You can use the ball and chain to take him out. Yeah. You're not going to do that, are you? I right, will. I'm just in the middle of doing this. Okay. I can't get up there. There's no place to stand, though. Uh. Probably. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Speedrun tech. All right, try try doing that from here. Uh, maybe if you go a little back. Okay, try now. Try there. I don't feel like this is intended. I don't. Well, I mean, intended, but possible? No. Okay, uh, you're gonna need a cannon. You, wait here. They really felt the need to include a mechanism like this rather than just let you take cannonballs through doors. I'll make certain of the puzzles too easy if they did that. I'm not saying I agree with it, I'm just saying I understand why they... Take it out. Can I? Fall and chain, man. There's like an opening, uh... I know. Okay. He doesn't oh, want wow, he you can't don't climb. Move fast at all. So what you're gonna need to do then is... Is, uh, just run to the hole and then... Fire the... What the? There you go. All right. Now, hopefully, they don't reform. Imagine going in there and fighting them. Uh, I imagine it would be painful, and so I imagine I wouldn't want to do that. Oh shit! It seems to be kind of even here, so. Uh. All right. Cool. So you need to go through those. What was over here? Oh, that's just blocks to drop. Yeah, that's a shortcut. 
Also very long dungeons in this game. Yeah, this dungeon's a bit, uh... Wait! Oh, I was gonna say, ball and chain the fucking keys. This ball and chain is essentially a better bow. Cross counter! You got him! You got him! <laughs> Alright, so that's what the cannon is. You Okay. Uh... Gonna have is to it raise it up somehow? Or maybe that's not it? No, that has to be it. It wouldn't put a cannon there for no reason. Ball change. Oh, oh he throws he, him. Seems like it. Oh, our ultimate defense isn't so ultimate. There we go. Ultimate offense. It is, it is like, a really good weapon. What happened to nice chairs? <laughs> Could not fit in, but look nice. <laughs> For guests like you. Hmm. Uh, I think first of all, you're going to want to break that. Uh... Darn. I wanted to break that thing down. Okay, so that's an easy access to get up to the second floor up there. You've unlocked. Uh, there don't hmm. appear to be hookshot oh. targets over there. Jump over there, maybe? No. I can't make that jump. Yeah. Maybe around to the other side. What's that? Something's targetable. Oh! oh clever! So what is this? Small key. Uh, do we even find a small lock? Is it? I don't think we have yet. Ah. Uh, you know you just took shot. Oh whatever. That's this is fun. So we now have a surplus of one small key. We don't yeah. know what the cannon is for yet. And we have this room over here. We could just... We have enough bombs. We could just fire in all, like, of the... Wait! Hold on! Maybe we're, maybe we're thinking about it all wrong. Maybe the cannon fires toward, to the center of the room. Well, I looked at that, but there didn't appear to be anything in the center of the room yet, either. Well, can I take a look at it again? Not here, but, like, in the other room. I just wanna... I just wanna, like... Okay, go forward, turn right, okay, turn right again. Huh. I'm assuming maybe that will rise up again, or something. It yeah. just seems like something for later, for the time being. Yeah, well, I'll eat, well, the cannon's prepped, so we might as well just leave it. Because, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think there's... <clears throat> Unless you want to try shooting it in the center and seeing what happens, but I don't think that's going to do anything. Yeah. Okay, so so it is, is going to fire at some point uh, to the center of the room. Or the, the cannon room itself will go up or down like an elevator. Perhaps. Oops! You, I mean, it worked, whatever you did. Darn. Uh, did you just say ups? Did I? I don't know, it heard... I, I, you cut out in a way that made it sound like it's, you said ups. Alright, uh... This is new. Hello! Oh! Ultimate defense! Come at me! <laughs> that probably came out faster than it would have taken to get his sword out. Yeah. And you know what? It worked much better, too. Okay, so... Wow, you just, you just stop on a dime. That yeah, it's also cool. a momentum cancel. There's tech. There's another room like this. Conspicuous.
really made this place feel like a mansion. Locked door. This is the second floor of that uh, block puzzle room. See, I told you we could be back here like this. All right. So we can, so we're gonna have to smash. Uh... There we go. Three uh, three blocks are available now. I assume we need a block to stay on that, yeah. 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 <laughs> Can you pull it on there? I don't think so, but that's the question. I doubt I can push two mm. either. Okay. And even then, it probably won't stay on the Switch, so you're gonna have to rearrange it from where you are yeah. to, uh... There's another one over here. Oh, that's the one that fell from the top level. No, that was also on a thing. Yeah, so... It's fine, you don't need to go over there. You need to go to the second floor. See, I know how to get two lined up in that way. I don't know how to get a third one. You think the room will need to be reset? But even then, how or how, how can one reset the room? Wait! It's still there, so... Oh, no, I got it! I figured yeah. it out. Just don't do anything. Go to the back block, where it is. Go, like, push it. I gotcha. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Dumb ice. Yeah. <laughs> Two points, Jack. <laughs> Yeah, that's tricky, but... Alright! Uh, so you should be able to hook shock back up there, or just climb... Now, yeah. if I wanted to, I could also open that other one again, but we don't need to. No. Unless the boss battle uh, forces us to go all across the mansion. Well, I can't climb that? Good. You said you saw a hookshot target? I thought I did. I don't think that um, was in this room. Okay, well, they pushed the, blo the block down that way, so there's got to be a way to get up. There we go. Okay, so it's that room next. So the only way forward is, uh... Okay, well, he's not a threat. His corpse distracted my targeting. Yeah, I got him. Oh, no, I'm, I got hit. Your sacrifice will not be in vain, my friend. What are you doing? Looking. Okay, so that That's we've just been a down place there we've before. Been before. There's yeah. ice that we haven't broken. We can break it anytime we get down there, though. Uh, and so, oh, I see it. Boy, when are we gonna use that uh, spinny toppy thing again? Never. Awesome.
Oh, it does do work eventually. Just needs to chip at it a bit. Yeah, it's more. It's less strong, I guess. Uh. What room is this? Have we been in this room before? I don't think so. Well, does that? That's not gonna help us going that way. Uh, maybe well, we can check. Oh, we okay. Oh, because well, we need I to see, get to yeah. the other one. Yeah. Okay, another small key for, uh... Okay, probably go south. in the block room but huh. from this side that's interesting maybe if we sidle over there we'll see like a hookshot target is there sidling in this game i thought there or maybe like hmm guess not what's the point of, is this just a shortcut back it's, yeah because we got the small key They wouldn't have the, us do this whole, like, room with the swinging things just while well, it's for the chest, I guess. By the way, those stick figure dudes, uh, they're, they're called Chilfos. Okay. We have a new Fos. Yeah. Well, I can't go- well, I can't go back. I have a hookshot target. Well. I guess my next lead is to, uh, break the ice. That we saw. It says that uh, that you that you can go back to the chill room, uh, the uh, block puzzle room, and then uh, go. What does it say? And then open the door on the south side, in the block puzzle room. Okay. That one was smart. That one stayed put. Yeah. Yeah, back here. The... This is just the place that we dug through. Yeah. So, block puzzle room is your next bet. Was that in the top right? That's oh, here. this is right here. They're gonna go south. This is return to the room with the mini freezers. How you doing? Just enjoying that soup, buddy? You gonna give it to her, or are you just gonna stand here? It's not done yet. Oh, so it's good enough for me, but it's not good enough for her. What are they talking about, room with the mini freezers? I wish this... Well, we'll go back to the place. Oh, it's gonna—it's top floor, south side. So you need to, you needed to go back and climb it, in the block puzzle room. We're going back up to the top floor now. Okay, yeah, I'm sure a roundabout way you'll find it again. Sorry about that. I should—I should have uh, read it more closely. We've been over there. Still been close. here. Is this the block puzzle room? No, it's not. This no. is the no floor room. The one room that I can't jump down. Block puzzle room didn't have a chill fuss in it. It seems like they only use two or three rooms of this place. Uh, they're, they're using each room, like, more than once. Okay, so climb up from the block puzzle room. Yeah. 
the uh, second floor. It's like uh, the layout is like Legends of the Hidden Temple's final like challenge. The Shrine of the Silver Monkey. Yeah. Why did why did they feel the need to like have that uh, that final challenge be like be have the most terrifying musical score of all time? I never watched Legends of the Hidden Temple. I think it was just slightly before my time. Yeah. It was 90s Nick, uh, like, a game show, and those died down quickly. I do remember, uh, the quiz show one that I forget the name of. Uh, Double Dare? No, it was after Double Dare. Figure it out? Figure it out. That was the Figure earliest Nick show that I remember. Out. That was less a quiz show, more a panel show. Yeah. Well, there's some ice that I haven't broken. I don't know how to get over there from here, though. <gasps> somebody somebody posted the entire Legends of the Hidden Temple soundtrack. Uh, on, uh, on YouTube. That's amazing. I only hear the fucking terrifying... So, uh, where am I going from the block puzzle room? Uh... Oh, yeah, I should... I should. You're gonna want to go to the, uh, room with the two freezers and I guess the, uh, red floor, icy floor. What? Have we been in that room before? Did you go, uh, did you open the, yeah, you did. So it's this room. There's a locked door on the west side of the room. I think, yeah, this is the one that we haven't gone through. Yeah. Maybe a little too big, these dungeons. Uh... Oh, hello, oh. there's two of you in here. <laughs> Can you outrange them from here? Okay, no. Did you, re you refilled your soup, right? Uh, yeah, I did. Okay, you're probably gonna need it. The furniture! What? No, they can outrange me! Oh my god. So you're gonna have to outflank them. Or get up close to them and then just... I don't... There's no, like, fast way to deal with them that isn't a cross counter. Bombs don't work, unfortunately. Alright, I had to bait him out. And I can't fit two hits in, so I gotta bait him out a second time. What an upgrade from their previous appearance. Yeah, they were a... Weren't they just look? They looked like uh, like transparent puzzle pieces in Ocarina of Time. Yeah, basically. The uh, Majora's Mask. And then now they look like monsters. Everything in this game looks like monsters. Okay, so then you'll. All right. Uh, so you're gonna. It seems like, and I'm not looking at the guide here. It's just me. Wait. Stop. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. we, well, we haven't gone through here yet. So the time being, I'm just going places we haven't been. There's a hookshot target. We need a cannonball here. Yeah. I assume. Uh, so... Uh... There's the other freezer. So, so the cannon uh, there is going to be taking out that freezer. The one here? Yeah. Yeah. So we yeah. need to get a cannonball here. Yeah. So... Okay, I got it. I know. I know what we're. I know what's going to happen. Okay, turn. Turn right. Recognize those two blocks. Oh, those are blocks. Yeah. <laughs> Shortcut uh, to uh, the room with the other cannonball <laughs> that we left there. So we're gonna need to use the cannonball, the cannon, to fire the cannon up, the cannonball up through here. And then we deposit it into the, uh, 
into the mechanism, which will take it to the outside second floor cannon. And they got a hand in here just to transport. Yep. But, you know, it makes flavor sense because it looks like, because, you know, it has, it's got that, uh... Can that I really rampart. not just throw it up there? If you want to try, I don't think it's going to work, though. There's no way. Darn. It gains like it gains zero height when you throw it. Yeah, they they thought of that too. Had to run out of water bombs in this fucking dungeon. You have to go outside to get more. You have to go you have to go to the shop. Which there's only the one. They only sell them in that like that Zora under the water at the <clears throat> lake. Yeah. Sucks. Man, we, we got to this dungeon in less than an hour. I was like, okay, well, we're making great time. We'll get through this. No, t no it's lickety split. <laughs> I mean, you got to the dungeon pretty quickly. It, it, the dungeon itself is, like, kind of complicated. Freeze like, what are you doing? No, stop. You know, he doesn't see us. He's just minding his own business. This freezer is having a great day. Alright. And there's a beeline. There's a quick beeline to get down there. Or up there, I guess. Can't wait to get knocked off this by those little freezers immediately. That's fine. You got the you got the ball and chain. Just use that. <laughs> one of them fell. There's always one that's smart enough not to approach you. Yeah, it's good at like AI. All right, so it seems like we're going. Where are we going? Uh, we're finally able to get up to the third floor and hopefully to the back center room, which I'm sure will be a boss. Did we find well, a boss key? Not yet. That's what the final room is going to be. Oh. So... So it seems... So you passed a door as you were going up that ramp, so that's where you're going to go next. Okay. What are we fighting? Is this a church? A chapel? Oh, am I going to have to, like, destroy a bunch of pews? This is, like, a Resident Evil, like, location. Oh, hello. Oh, it's just a you guys? Oh. Just you? What is this supposed to mean? Yeah, drink the superb soup. Oh, every icicle is one. Well, one, one down. Unfortunately, this is not very effective when they throw the spears. Also, the yeah. pews are indeed in the way. Oh, their attacks as well, kind of. This is somehow working. I know he haven't been using a mortal strike a lot, but I don't think it would have been useful in this uh, situation. Yeah. I could be wrong. Because somebody's going to be like, you idiots, you could have broken in that room. Quickly using uh, that. 
My mortal strike is the ball and chain. At least that's an item that will be useful for combat. Bedroom key! Outside I'll of, like, dungeon puzzles. Yeah. Alright. Uh, boss, then mirror shard, probably. Boy, I can't wait to forget what we were doing the next time we play this game. Yeah, yeah, it's the, uh, short-term memory loss experience. Is that what characterizes Lincoln from the other Lynx? I thought it was the fact that he was secretly a furry, but him developing memory loss would have been, like... I mean, that too. Just little, little quirks. Oh, you're feeling better, huh? Feel much better. Drank soup. You find key? Bedroom right above us. We make squish squish. We go to bedroom. Unga, what you do with wife? Just go ahead. Do, do the enemies not bother her? Or the yetis are secretly very strong, I guess. <laughs> they don't fuck with the yeti family. She looks like a Russian nesting doll. Yeah, I'm guessing that's like the intent. <laughs> are we actually gonna fuck her? What? <laughs> Um, this is kind of awkward. I actually have a girlfriend. Mistress! A, a mistress. And, uh, she's also here. I have to ask her permission if I, uh, if I want to, uh, do this. You understand, right? It's a big mirror. Let me just put yeah. that in my pocket. Yep. Yeah. Is she gonna be possessed by it? Or is she gonna be the boss fight? She, she's gonna be the boss. It's gonna be like a, well, one of the magical girl MacGuffins that turns people into monsters. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, you shouldn't be doing that. Hello. So, Lincoln, we still doing this or what? I don't, I don't know. She's hotter now. Like, like now I'm more like inclined to let you, uh, you know, switch, switch. <laughs> she has become egg. <laughs> Twilight ice mass Blizzetta. I've seen this on so many top ten scariest boss lists back in the day. I mean, it is pretty intimidating. I, I guess it's just a giant version of the of the little freezer things. Let me guess, the way to beat it, you just hit it with the ball and chain until it like dies. I play pot of greed. <laughs> looks like a you know what it looks like? It looks like a a Star Fox boss. I hope this is just phase one, because so far this is not a challenge. I mean, it was possessing a person who was A, sick, and B, not like a combat. Was that really just it? <laughs> Phase two. Imagine the possessed version of Amy Rose was a boss in a Sonic game. That would actually be scarier than this. How? Um, Ultimate defense! Yeah? Come and get it! Oh. She, she, she got it! Okay, so you're gonna have to dodge until that until she comes down with that, and uh... okay. Okay, I get it now. So... Yeah, there are two phases of the things dropping. Yeah, hopefully she doesn't like switch between them arbitrarily. 
feels like she does it though. I thought maybe I had to destroy them in order for her to bring herself down, but no, that is that, not the case. That would have been interesting, but alas, that is not how that works. And I wow, really can't change direction on the ice at all. I mean, you can stop on a dime using your uh, using your. Uh... Yeah, but stopping doesn't really help me. I just need to keep running in a circle, I guess. Okay, that, that's what's getting me. Those things, intentionally, they cut you off. Yeah. So then you slow down, and then by the time you, uh, yeah, it's too late. Okay. So they're coming back. So you do need to destroy them so that you have an avenue to swerve out of the way. Yeah. Got a couple of them. Oh, you can aim upwards. A little bit. Oh. Not uh, quite wait. fast enough. The boss music is a little bland, but it's better than the previous ones, I guess. Yeah. Is it weird that sometimes I prefer like some simplistic boss themes? Like, there was a one boss theme in Metroid Prime where you're fighting a plant, that uh, plant creature. Yeah. Uh, the Chozo Ruins. And I thought that it was effective in its, like, simplicity. Did she regenerate the- oh yeah, she does, every time. Oh, darn it. Oh, it doesn't break through them either, it stops at one. That sucks. Oh no, it stops at one. Okay. Four left. Nice that they drop hearts. No, Link, I didn't want to do that. That somehow worked. Is that it? Phase three? I kind of want to explore this more, the idea that we have a, a an artifact that will cause, you know, Lovecraftian madness if gazed upon. But I'm sure it'll just be this, again, twice more for the next yes. two bosses. Yeah, the more we have them, the more that they, like, Link starts to develop, like, insanity. Oh, wait, is she actually dead? I think the Mirror of Twilight has the power to change people like that. This world, all worlds can be cruel. How many have you been to? Let's hurry up and collect the rest of those pieces. We have to, before more innocent creatures have to endure the suffering this poor girl did. Is she actually dead? Did we kill her? <laughs> let's go, let's get out of here. We don't want to be here when the Yeti finds this room. Check on her. See if you can check on her. Uh oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> what wrong with me? You just, just... dreaming? Yet Yeto? That's his name. <laughs> or is that her name? Yeto the Yeti. Oh. Yeto. Yeto. Yeto and Yeta. I get it. Look into eyes of Yeto. <laughs> no! <laughs> Shuffling. Look out of how the way. beautiful my eyes are. True beauty. You're supposed to say that about my eyes. <laughs> Very cute.
That would be a red flag if you were dating or married to someone and they said, Look into my eyes. Aren't they beautiful? Look into my eyes. And they just That's a Chloe thing to say. I was doing hypnotism. Hey, you want One more for the road. I'm glad that ended uh, well. I didn't think it would. Nah, he's tough. He can take it. Glad we didn't fight him. Alright, I think we're done. That was a long dungeon, but I, I'm glad we got through it. Yeah. Every time we play this game, I think, okay, we, we, we don't have to commit to it. It'll just be <laughs> maybe two hours. <laughs> it, but then it, it, every dungeon by itself is two hours. Yeah. This is not the kind of... This is kind of... Anyway. Yeah, this game is quite, um, long. And... Long? Long? Yeah. It's very yeah. long. It's a long game. All right. Well, we got another chunk out of it. Uh, we still got. We're still in the middle of Pokemon. We got Hat and Time to finish, which I've started doing highlights of. So. Cool. I saw those. And Thank then... you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. See you next time.